I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But there's massive roulette wheels. This means whatever color you shoot is the color of mob that spawns in. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. But little does Sparky know that behind my roulette wheel is a cheat sheet so I can counter the colors he chooses exactly. So, Sparky, are you ready to get this roulette battle started? Oh, yes, I am, Cardi. I'm going to choose some crazy colors. We'll see about that. And anyways, let the battle begin. And now that the mob battle's officially begun, we're actually going to start off by cheating with this one-way glass wall. And this is going to allow us to see exactly what color Sparky chooses on the roulette wheel and how we'll be able to counter it exactly. And wait, it looks like Sparky's charging up his bow and I wonder what color he's aiming at. It looks like he's either aiming at the blue, the light blue, or the lime green. I can't really tell. And wait, he shot his arrow and wait a second, I think that hit the blue. And I think that might have worked. It looks like Sparky was given a spawn egg. Let's check out what kind of mob he got. And what are these things? Okay, they're called snow queens and I guess they're made out of snow. Wait, what do these guys even do? And wait, it looks like these people can actually fly and look, they're all chasing Sparky right now. They're even spotting in these cool ice mobs. Wait, these things are actually insane. Well, while Sparky deals with all those snow queens, I guess we can actually get to shooting our first color on the roulette wheel. Now, of course, we could just shoot any color on this, but remember, guys, behind my roulette wheel, I actually do have a little bit of a cheat sheet, which is gonna allow me to win every single round perfectly. And this also tells us the most insane mobs to spawn. Now, basically, how to read this is whatever color on the right is worse than the color on the left. Now, since Sparky chose this dark blue, based on this cheat sheet, we should shoot the color orange, and that will give us the best possibility of winning this mob battle. So, you know what time it is. Let's get down to our arena. Aim up at the orange one, and I better hit this. Come on, aim. Don't let me down, and boom, shakalaka. We just hit that orange, and oh my, look at what our spawn egg is. So, we got a really cool orange spawn egg. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's spawn this in. And here we go. I just went and spawned in a bunch of these mobs, and look at how insane they are. Not only are they setting a bunch of fire to the entire arena, they're made out of these weird spider blocks. They look like a combination of the fire element and spiders because they have a bunch of big crawly legs on them. And also, they're kind of see-through. You can kind of see the grass through their body. That is super, super cool. But I want to see how aggressive these guys are. So let's go in survival mode like this and uh oh they're all chasing me and they're sending me at the sky what's going on right now oh no i am dying so quickly and oh that's gotta be a world record these weird fire creatures are so unbelievably powerful they just killed me in a record three seconds time and wait i just realized how powerful they are they're setting fire to sparky's side before the battle's even begun oh yeah his snow queen are gonna get completely melted for this round sparky how is your army going on this first round it's going well, but, uh, did you spawn something made of fire? There's a lot of fire on my side, and I don't like it. Uh, I may have shot the orange on my roulette wheel, and if you know anything about orange, that is the color of fire. So, yes, Sparky, I do have some fire mobs. Uh, I thought that was the color of oranges, but, yeah, uh, your mobs kind of got to my side and kind of, uh, burnt my stuff. I, I feel, I feel offended. That's pretty funny, Sparky, but wait, what color did you choose on the roulette wheel? Uh, you'll have to see. You'll have to wait. Well, well, I guess I will have to wait. Anyways, are you ready to drop the walls and let our mobs fight? Oh, yes, I am. Let's do this. Well, then let's go. And oh, my goodness, my mobs are already rushing in towards your mobs. Oh, no, they're melting the ice. Let's go. Your snow queens are getting obliterated. And wait, did you realize that you have snow mobs and I have fire mobs? And mine is the perfect counter. But the ice is melting on my side. So that, may, that might give me a little bit of an advantage. And it looks like quite a few of both of our mobs are are dying, but I'm pretty sure I'm winning right now because your snow queens are getting really low on health and you only have half of them left. Oh no, only have two left. Come on, you can do this. Pour water on them. Yeah, that's not even working. It looks like my mobs are actually immune to the water. They're just kind of swimming in it and nothing is happening. Uh, wait, are they even fighting at this point? Oh wait, never mind, they are. Yeah, they definitely are fighting and I am definitely winning. Your little ice minions are doing nothing against my fire creatures. Well, since they can fly, they have somewhat of an advantage. Oh, never mind. Well, my my mobs can jump super high, so it's not even fair. Let's go, fire spiders. You got this. Oh, no, Cardi. There's only one left. Yeah, at this point, there is only one left. Come on. We just have to do a little more damage. And, oh, it's almost dead. 
better. Literally just one more hit. You have a sliver of health. You stupid snow queen. Just die already. There we go. Oh, why'd you call her stupid? She doesn't like being insulted. Well, she's dead now, Sparky. And anyways, I just won that first round. Are you ready to go on to round number two? Oh, I sure am. Let's do this. Let's go. And now we're on the second round of the mob battle. And using our cheat sheet, we're gonna get even crazier bosses this round. Let's not waste any time. Let's just see exactly what Sparky's gonna shoot. So it looks like he's charging up his bow once again, but let's see what he's aiming at. And it looks like this round, he's either aiming at the light blue, the lime, or the yellow. I can't really tell. But if I were to take a guess, I think he's gonna shoot the yellow color. And that's because Sparky's favorite color is yellow. Wait, Sparky's aiming the bow, and he's shooting the arrow, and it hit the lime green. And it looks like Sparky actually got himself a spawn egg. And I wonder what he's gonna spawn in. Let's figure this out. And what are these things? Okay, so it looks like he got some special type of warrior robot. Wait, are these like emerald golems? These are super duper cool. I'm not even gonna lie. I would not want to fight this many of these guys in survival mode. And wait, would you look at that? I think Sparky actually just went in survival mode to test these guys' attacks. And okay, yeah, they just killed him so quickly. They only did like three hits and he's already dead. Well, that is just crazy. Well, anyways, let's get to shooting our next color. And you guys know the drill by now. We're not just gonna shoot the color on this roulette wheel. We're gonna go behind it and go to our cheat sheet. Now remember how to read this. Whatever's on the right side is worse than the color on the left. And it looks like Sparky chose the green one. So let's go here. And what's better than green? It looks like the color I need to shoot is light blue. And that's gonna give us the best chance of winning. So let's do that. Let's stand right here and let's aim at light blue. I better not hit any other color. I just wanna get the light blue right now. So let's shoot this in three, two, Two, one, let's get the best mob ever. And here we go. Of course, we hit it and we got our spawn eggs. Now, we actually got two different spawn eggs for this round. So this means we're gonna have a super, super cool light blue army. But it looks like our first mob is actually a water dragon. And oh my, look at how cool this guy is. He's made out of these watery scales. And look at his tail. This thing is majestic. It has these cool water spikes coming out of it. Okay, this guy probably has insane attack. But we also have a mob called a hippocampus. And it looks like these guys are light blue as well. But wait, what is this? Wait, is this a combination of a horse and a mermaid? Oh, this thing is actually really awesome. Look at it. It has a horse head and horse legs with little fins growing off its back and a giant mermaid tail. Wait, this guy's probably not very effective on land, but I think that's why the roulette wheel gave us this water bucket too. So let's go and just cover our entire arena in a bunch of water. So let's do that just like like this and wait this is actually gonna take a while we can just speed up the process by using some world edit commands and type slash slash set water and boom our entire arena is now water let's go so let's spawn our mobs in here again and this time let's spawn even more of these water dragons and wait look at them now they're flying now oh this is super super cool wow this is majestic well i think four of these guys should be enough and then let's spawn a bunch of our little animals in here and wait they're not even blue now okay i'm not even gonna complain let's just spawn them in. Anyway, Sparky, are you ready for this mob battle? Oh, I sure am. I've got a few surprises for you. Wait, you've got surprises for me and wait, are you building something, Sparky? Maybe. You'll have to see. Okay, that sounds pretty cool, but I bet my mob is about to absolutely destroy your mob. Oh, we'll see about that. Yes, we will. Let's start this at three. Two, one, let's go. And Sparky, have you realized what kind of mobs I have? Water dragon things? Yes, I have water dragons and these super cool seahorses. That's because I shot the light blue on my roulette wheel. Oh, okay. But if you didn't know, water is actually the exact counter to robots because robots malfunction in water. Oh, no. And wait, your mobs are about to walk in the water and look, they're already malfunctioning. Look, they're basically turning off right now. No. Well, this is fair. And look on top of the water. I think they're getting electrocuted now. This is so good for me. No, come on. Why? All right, come on. Fight, maybe. And wait, look at all the lightning right now. I think your things are just getting absolutely destroyed so hard that the lightning is striking them. Let's go. I think this is my water dragon's attack. Oh, no. Wait, they're not even near him. They're, they're like going away from my mobs. And oh my gosh, one of your mobs just died. And I think all my seahorses 
are just distracting them right now. Oh, come on. Just just walk forward. They're right over there. And oh, no, that is not good for you, Sparky. Both of your mobs just died and I just won the mob battle. Oh, no, you didn't, Cardi. I have one last trick up my sleeve. You see, I've been making a waterproof golem. As you can see here, there we go. Yes, I have a completed waterproof golem. And he... Wait, you built an entire machine to just spawn in a waterproof golem. There's no way this works. Wait, let's test if this thing's actually waterproof. I'm just gonna put some water on it like this. And, oh, uh, Sparky, that is not waterproof. Did I say waterproof? I mean water death robots. Yes. Okay, Sparky, you definitely just lost that battle so hard. Anyways, let's just go on to round number three. You are so silly. Okay, okay. And here we go. Now we're on round three. And we really want Sparky to either choose the red or the purple on his roulette wheel because that will give us the best chance of countering his mob. And remember, guys, each mob is going to get more and more powerful as the video goes on. So you guys are going to have to see this. But let's not waste any time. Let's see what color Sparky's going to shoot on his roulette wheel. So he's aiming his bow just like he always does. And remember, we want him to hit either the red one or the purple one. And it looks like he's actually aiming at either one of those. So please hit one of those, Sparky. And he hit the red one. Let's go. Let's see what mob he gets. So we got a spawn egg this time. And what is it gonna be? And who? he's just throwing it on the floor and admiring it. And it looks like it's gray and orange, kind of. And oh, he just spawned this thing in. And oh, no, this is not good for me. This thing is so big and strong that it's literally sticking through my one-way glass wall. It isn't made out of netherite. Wait, this is a netherite monstrosity golem boss. This is one of the most strongest mobs in Minecraft. But wait a second. Remember, I have the cheat sheet on my roulette wheel. I don't even know why I'm worrying. We basically have a 100% chance to win this round. So what was the color I have to choose again? And it looks like the color that is better than red is yellow. So let's just mark this off and I guess let's just go shoot the yellow on my roulette wheel. I don't know how we're gonna be able to defeat that netherite monstrosity, but hopefully the roulette wheel gods are gonna give me some good luck. Let's figure this out now. And oh yes, we're we hit it! Now, we got our spawn egg, but the mob actually does look a little bit green. Okay, well, if the spawn egg's green, I wonder if the mob's gonna be green, too. Let's figure this out. And, okay, the mob isn't green. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. It looks like we got some sort of chicken monster. And wait a second. This thing is so small. How are we ever gonna defeat the netherite monstrosity? I mean, this thing is just huge compared to these tiny little creatures. Well, I guess we can spawn in a bunch of these guys just like this, and are we missing anything? There there's no way this is the only spawn egg we got. I mean, these guys are cool and all, but we better have gotten another spawn egg. Let's go back and... Oh, wait. Yes, we did. I guess we missed the spawn egg when we shot the roulette wheel. I guess it just fell on the floor or something. Well, I guess let's spawn this guy in right here. And oh, yes. We were definitely missing this. Look at this mob. This thing is so much bigger. It's just a big mutant version of these tiny little guys. Okay, now I'm actually feeling pretty confident we can defeat this netherite monstrosity. We're just gonna need to spawn in a bunch and a bunch of these mobs. And especially we need to spawn in a bunch of the bigger mobs too. So I'll be back once I have everything spawned. And here we go. This is what I call a mob army. We are 100% winning this round. And wait, it looks like Sparky made a little cage around his netherite monstrosity. That's pretty cool. But anyway, Sparky, are you ready to drop the walls? I don't want to waste any time. Oh, yes I am, Cardi. My mob is currently charging up so it can be super powerful. Oh, that does not not sound good, but I think my mob is gonna win just like always. Anyways, let's drop the walls in three, two, one. Let's do this. And boom, the walls have dropped and oh man, your mob is already shooting lava. I didn't even know he could do that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but I don't think he's gonna be able to defeat my mob because my mobs are just absolutely super crazy. Wait, is he getting harmed by his own lava? That's kind of lame. No, I think my mobs are attacking him, Sparky. That's what's happening. Oh, okay. And all my mobs are surrounding your mob now and he's just taking so much damage. Wait, is he healing? I think he might be healing somehow, but he's also just taking tons of damage and none of my mobs are dying. Oh no. Wait a second. Are my mobs invincible? They've taken so many hits from one of the strongest mobs in Minecraft. Oh, what kind of dinosaur breed is this anyways? I don't even know. I just shot the yellow on my roulette wheel and it gave me these guys. Okay, yes, this is super good for me. Yeah, it seems my mob only has uh, one attack and it's just hit the ground hard. <laughs> yeah, he 
he is really stupid. But my mobs are also kind of just doing the same attack. They just go flying in the air and run back. Yeah, well, my mob is almost at like a quarter gone, so I hope it could do something else. Well, I hope it doesn't do anything else because at this point, I'm actually just completely winning this. And wait, look at how much damage your Nethroid monstrosity is taking now. It's just taking even more damage. No, come on. Yes, just survive for a little longer, you little dragons. And oh my, I have never seen a Netherite monstrosity die in my life. No. Oh, he dropped a hammer. That's, oh. Let's go. You are so bad at choosing color, Sparky. And anyways, let's just go on to round number four. And I told you guys this cheat sheet works super well. I mean, that's just proven by how we've won three rounds in a row. Let's keep this win streak going and let's pray that Sparky chooses the purple. Because then we'll know that pink will 100% beat it. And uh oh, it looks like Sparky might actually be aiming at the pink. But remember, we want him to hit the purple. And come on, please, please hit purple. And oh, yes, he actually did. And it looks like he's just throwing his spawning on the floor just like last round. Well, that is not how you spawn a mob. You don't just throw them on the ground. You need to right click with them, Sparky. But these spawnings actually do look cool. And oh, my, what just is spawning in right now? Wait, I know what these are. These are mutant shulkers. If you guys didn't know, mutant shulkers are basically just normal shulkers. Except they're mutated and bigger and way stronger. And wait, look, they also grow legs and they can walk. And oh man, they just killed Sparky super, super fast. But since these guys are very strong, we just gotta get to spawning in our mob. And you guys already know this is not gonna be a problem. Since Sparky chose purple, we just gotta choose pink and we'll win this 100%. Let's not waste time. Let's just shoot pink right now. And it looks like we got three spawn eggs this time. And we also got a personal shrinking device. Wait, I wonder what this thing does. But we'll find that out in a second. First, let's just spawn in our mob. So first of all, we got these cool pink fairy things. And I guess they can fly. That's cool. And then we got some slimes. But these are like multicolored pink slimes. Okay, this is also really cool. And finally, we have a slime girl. And wait, these are just girls made out of slime. Okay, we actually have a super super cool girly pink army. So let's just spot in all these different kinds of mobs. But remember guys, we also have this shrinking device. So I want to find out what this thing does. Let's just go and click the mobs and oh my, they just get a lot bigger. Look at what happens when I click the big slime. It just gets like 20 times bigger than me. Okay, let's just do this to all of our mobs then. Okay, is there no limit on this thing? This is absolutely insane. We're gonna have the biggest giant army in all of Minecraft. I'll click you, I'll click you, I'll click you and I'll click you guys all and oh man, look at this army. Wait, I want to see one of these flying dolls get bigger and oh man, that is so cool. Well, I think our pink army is good enough at this point. We don't even need to make everything big because just the mobs we've made big alone will be able to easily destroy these stupid mutant shulkers and uh oh, there's actually a lot of these. Well, I still am confident we'll be able to win. Anyway, Sparky, are you ready to get this next mob battle started? Oh yes, not to spoil anything but I have a arm army of boxes. An army of boxes? Wait, do you have stalkers or something? That's the only box mob I can think of. Maybe. You'll have to see. Well, I guess I will have to see. Anyway, server, drop the walls. And boom, the walls have dropped and the battle is about to begin. And do you see how big my mobs are? Oh my gosh, oh slimes? Yeah, they're slime girls in there. I guess there's just different variants of slimes because I got pink slimes, blue slimes, green slimes. I got everything. That's crazy. Am my stalkers are really Really doing anything they're just uh they're just sitting there yeah what are they doing and wait what are these things are these even alive there's nothing even inside of them uh don't worry about them they're special all right well uh i guess uh nothing's really happening sparky i don't see any of our mobs fighting yeah this guy's just uh what's happening actually wait i think i know what's happening because my entire army is made out of girls your shulkers don't want to attack the girls oh i see they respect women too much okay but it looks like my mobs don't respect your mobs and they just all died oh come on oh i should have got better mobs and yeah sparky i think i've already won this mob battle these things aren't even alive are they just like normal shulker boxes uh yeah pretty much like skeletons essentially well that's pretty cool sparky but since i won the round four times in a row we have to go on to the final round and this is gonna be the most insane round yet are you ready oh yeah let's see let's go and guys do not leave yet because this is the 
final round, meaning we are about to get the most insane bosses yet. And just like we do every round, let's check our cheat sheet. And it looks like... Uh, wait, this is not good. We've run out of things for our cheat sheet. How are we gonna cheat? Well, I guess we're not gonna be able to cheat since there's nothing left on the right side and there's nothing left on the left side. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to play this final round legit and really hope we are able to win this. And it looks like Sparky's got a custom ultimate bow for this round. And let's see what color he's gonna shoot. It doesn't really matter for us. And he's shooting the arrow and... Oh, he missed. Okay, I guess he's gonna get another shot. And he shot the pink one. And Sparky got some spawn eggs, it looks like. I wonder if these things are gonna be any good. And, uh, is he trolling right now? Why is he spawning in pigs and zombie pigmen? What is he doing? And what are these things? He's spawning in these piglins with, like, special athletic running gear. Now he's spawning in spider pigs? Oh, my. I think the roulette wheel is trolling Sparky right now. Let's just give him a bunch of pig mobs. That is really, really fun. And oh, yes, we're definitely winning this round. Well, since we have no cheat sheet, we just get to choose any color on this roulette wheel. And since I can choose any color, what would be the strongest? Um, I think I'm gonna go with the purple one. Because purple is usually associated with the cosmic mobs. And if we can get some sort of cosmic mob, that will be an instantaneous win for us. So let's not waste time. Let's shoot the purple. And what mob did we get? And oh, I can basically just tell the future. If you don't know what this spawn egg is well i guess here yeah, let me just show you this is what a cosmic feed is i can basically just tell the future i was wanting to get a cosmic mob so bad and i got the best cosmic mob in all of minecraft and look it looks like some of sparky's mobs are actually falling on my side that's pretty funny well i guess i've got a spider pig and a cosmic fiend anyway sparky do you think you're gonna win this final round of the mob battle do you want me to be honest yes i do no i i got a lot of uh hey, related mods and i don't know how i feel about it you got pig sparky well i got a cosmic god i think i'm gonna win oh no all right we'll have to see what happens let's drop the walls now let's do this and boom the walls have dropped and i think my cosmic feed is still charging up or something right now oh is that our a tentacle squid thing? Oh, uh, yeah. Look at the front of it, and you might be a little bit scared. This thing is crazy! All right, uh, why are my pigs attacking each other? What? It's because some of the pigs went on my side, and that means they joined my army, and I think I'm just completely destroying you, but wait, they're all going to my cosmic fiend. Come on! Attack! And finally, my mob is activating, and let's go! He's just destroying your mob so quickly, it's not even fair. Oh my gosh, he's destroying the floor. That's crazy. I know! Oh, and he's just gonna come and finish off all your mobs so fast. This is gonna be the easiest win of my life. Do you just forfeit now, Sparky? Uh, no, I have some pigs left. They might be able to fight back, maybe. I don't think your pigs are gonna be able to win. Look at this guy. I bet if this zombie pigment dies, I win the entire mob battle, and... No, come on, I still have, like, three pigs left. And, oh, yeah, your three pigs are definitely not gonna win. What are you even thinking? Oh, no, I didn't choose the mobs. Yeah, I guess you didn't. But anyways, your last mob just died, and I just won the final round. Oh, no. I thought for sure my pig army would win. I hate you, Cosmic Fiend. You are so silly. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching the video, and make sure to click the video on the screen. Also, subscribe to the channel. Click the video on the screen. Bye.